Hello, good people, and welcome to Excel Hacks for Productivity. One trick, two minutes to learn hours saved every day. In this short video, we'll learn how to find a maximum or minimum value based on a given criteria in Excel. So in this sales data, I want to do a simple calculation. I want to return the highest value based on the food type. So instead of filtering to salt and all that, I want a formula to return the highest value I recorded based on your food type. Now, if you are using Excel 2016 onwards, there's a function to do this and that is max ifs. So max ifs returns the maximum value among cells specified by a given set of conditions or criteria. So bottom line, it returns the highest number based on a given criteria. It requires the max range. So the max range is the column that contains the number or the values that you want to return the highest number from. And you move on to criteria range. Criteria range is where the word or the criteria you are using sits in your data. So this is my criteria range. And finally, it requires a criteria. So I give it this current selection. You can add different sets of criteria and criteria range. But for this purpose, we have only one range and then one criteria. So when I hit enter for watermelons, the highest recorded here is 608. I can change this to any other fruits and I record the highest sold here. Now, it must be said that if you want the minimum, you can change max if to min ifs, min ifs, to get the minimum sale. If you are using Excel 2013 or earlier, there's a way to get this as well. We can create a combination of the max formula, which is native in earlier versions, open bracket, and then add the native if function. So you get it in this format. So basically what we are doing is to assign a condition or a logic test. So the logic test will read, will go through these fruits. So I'll supply this range name on fruits and test if it is equal to my selection here. So if any fruit is equal to this, then I'll bring my comma. My value, if it is true, is the amount column. So I'll select that one as well. And that's it. So if this returns a true at any point, then that's true will return the corresponding value in this range. Now, you don't have to supply the false value. So you close the if formula and then you close the max. Now this is an array function or an array formula. So instead of your normal enter, you press control, shift and enter. So we get the same values in both case. So you have options, please practice and add it to your list of Excel tricks. For more of these short videos, you can join our broadcast list we send videos directly to your Mondays and Fridays. You can send ad to this WhatsApp number. All our old videos are on our YouTube channel, Excel Hacks for Productivity. Please click subscribe for notification of new videos or give us a like on our Facebook page. Thank you for watching.